What? One dollar, three fifty, value fifteen hundred. Sold within thirty minutes while still in the store. What? Hey, Bolo buddies! Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, we are going to talk about unexpected, big money, all kinds of bolos. An item is to be on. <laughs> Bolo is an item to be on the lookout for. An item you can buy low and hopefully sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Nothing like starting the video out with a blooper. Uh, share your best July Bolo. That's what we're talking about today. Members of my Facebook group share their bolo and I'm going to share them with you. So if you want to go over and share a bolo to be featured in a video like this, please um, use the link tree down below, join the Facebook group and share under the best August or whatever month it is that is currently posted. Share your bolo. Uh, you're going to tell me where you got it, what you paid for it and what it sold for. Please shout out anything you want me to mention, like if you sell on other platforms like whatnot or eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, wherever you sell, put it in the comment and I'll mention it. If you're a YouTuber, great way to get exposure for your YouTube channel and also uh, Instagram, stuff like that. TikTok, whatever you resell, reselling content, guys, reselling content. So we're going to start here with kind of an unexpected one. This one says set of three antique Burgess and Lee bone dishes N nouveau porcelain sold on mercari for 2750 mercari name is angie piat now i think it's like bone china is what they call it and she uh did not say where she got it or what she paid for it let me see let me see if she added it she got it from the goodwill and paid three dollars and 99 cents for all three of them okay great she was able to add that information for me before I did the video. Awesome. Thank you so much. So this is just kind of an unexpected thing. But on Mercari, you can sell pretty much anything as long as it go follows the rules, right? So uh, she has the Mercari shipping that she uses. I do free shipping on Mercari. You can do whatever you want. Whatever works best for you. All right, let's do the next one here. This is a Budweiser hat. It looks like they got it straight from, well, it doesn't say where from. It says, been very slow. I'm currently not able to post like I should, but today sold a vintage knitted Budweiser can bucket hat found for $3 and sold for 30 plus shipping. So I don't know where they found it, but it looks like they got in their car, put it up on their dash and listed it right there. And you know what would be great for that? Um, list perfectly their new listing assistant. Oh my goodness. Now I don't know if it'd find this because this looks artisan made. Would you call that artisan made, handmade? Somebody made this. So uh seems so vintage made my hat. It's the same kind of knit. What do you is it knitting? I don't know, but I'll show it to you at the end of the video. Don't let me forget. But uh seems so vintage on whatnot sells these hats. Do you love it? I love it. Okay, so anyway, back to the hat. Sold it for 30 bucks, picked it up for three. But if you list um, your items into list perfectly, you get the photo background removal through photo room through list perfectly. Another awesome feature. So um, they could have got that truck out of the background. I would have never known that this was sitting in their car. All right. Not that it, it, it's fine. It's, st it's still sold. But, uh, you know, if you're listing in your car, a white background would work too. All right, here we go. This one here. Hey, Courtney, you know me as Cat B. Ferguson or Cat Bo Ferguson as well. I'm sorry. Let me start again. Courtney, you know me as Cat Bo Ferguson as a buyer on whatnot, but I sell on, at, on eBay as Ruth and Ruby Rose, all lowercase. Ruth and Ruby Rose. You can see it right there. I found this beautiful vintage brooch in a... Goodwill box purchase. Research told me it was rare and highly sought after. It's one of a collection of six different brooches that were specially made. The last one, like mine, sold on eBay auction for over a thousand. Mine was not in the best of shape. It had gold tone loss somewhere in the enameling, metal discoloration on the back, and missing a stone. I normally only use buy it now, but I didn't know how to price this brooch as some damaged ones still sell for big money. I decided to list on an auction with a start price of 400. 
with offers. I immediately received an offer from an international buyer for six hundred, with a message that she had been looking for this one for her collection. Given the damage, I decided to accept her offer. I may have gotten more if I let the auction go, but as I had very little money into it and was very happy with a six hundred dollar selling price, a brooch video of brooches that sell for thousands. And when I was searching, I did see one of these that had sold because I remembered it because of this. But it's a vintage Vendome or Vendome. I think it's Vendome. I think Cat Feeling Thrifty says Vendome. <laughs> I don't know what's right. Inspired by uh, Georges or Bar, Bar Rack, <laughs> Bird Rhinestone Gold Brooch. You guys, the brooch video is just as bad. I just can't say these names. I just don't know how to say them. But but it's an awesome sale. So uh, with damage sold for $600. That is fabulous. And lots of great information there that I definitely did not know about. All right. This is from her as well. And she said, here's a bolo I only knew about from watching YouTube. I picked it up at Goodwill for 12, listed it the same day and sold it minutes for, in minutes for 76 plus shipping. eBay store, Ruth and Ruby Rose. And whatnot is cat. Bo Ferguson. And you guys come over to Whatnot. She's there. She'll tell you we have a good time. You can hang out in the chat and talk to us. Um, my referral link's down below. You can get $15 to shop on Whatnot with that. So check it out and come see me, Bola Buddies. All right, here we go. I'm just starting out. Bought this at a church sale for five and sold it for a hundred. I'm just trying to, oh, it's a briar horse. I'm trying to figure out if it's shoes. No, it's a briar horse, guys. There is what it looks like. This one here, Ganja White Knight V2 Baseball Jersey, limited edition, small, oversized. It's a jersey. This one, I, I would have walked right past it, not even thought twice about it. And look at this, you guys. Sold it for $280. Had it priced at $320. Had priced higher, but lowered price a few times. I got a $240 offer and countered it $280. $280. Been listed since February 21st, paid $5 on February 16th at Goodwill. It was in the women's section. Would you guys have picked it up or walked right past it? I mean, seriously, I would have walked right past it. No clue. I still don't know what it is. Anyway, uh, this one, Vintage Hagen Reneker Pasha. Baby Elephant from 1950-60 Designers Workshop. I purchased this item in an online auction with other figurines. I wasn't sure it was a Pasha, but it looked like the images I found online. I paid $36, including shipping for all the figurines in the lot. I put the elephant on auction for $30 because it had damage. $102.50 is what it sold for, and it's got a sticker right on its side. I'm trying to see the damage. Do you see the damage? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, nice bolo, right? All right, this one here sold on um, Facebook. Bolo Luxury Crib Brand. So listen, guys, if you share a Facebook, please use the screenshot because I cannot pull up links for Facebook. Found at the Goodwill Bins, they sold it to me for $1 for all since that's the price per furniture piece. $1. Listed on Facebook Marketplace while I was in the store. Got a message within 10 minutes of posting, arranged to meet up within 30 minutes. They actually came through and sold for $350. What? $1, $350, value $1,500. Sold within 30 minutes while still in the store. What? Another lady also messaged me while I was messaging with the other lady. So I knew that even if this one didn't come through, that it would sell. Wow. That is crazy. That's just crazy. I love it. Okay. Found, oops. I, I did that elephant twice. Okay, here we go. Found, for some reason, it wouldn't let me pull the link up. So this is what we're going to look at. I found this vintage cross stitch pattern at a local thrift store. I paid less than four for it. I almost left it behind because it was open, but figured I'd check sold comps since it was a Bucilla item. It sold within two months for full asking price of $54.99 plus shipping. My eBay store is Thrifting Addiction. Thanks for featuring my item. Thanks for sharing your item. Uh, this one says, I got this at a yard sale. It was advertised on Facebook for Friday. I messaged and asked if I can go Thursday. They said, sure. This was in, in an envelope. In an 
in an envelope <laughs> with other 1960s manuals. The envelope was $2. It looked as if when you, when was open, the papers were put up. Sadly, no toys. eBay is Mammoth Pickology and my Facebook is Pickologist. American Character Bonanza, Ben Cartwright, TV Western figure, insert only. So this is the insert only. Insert only. Vintage Sphinx Gripo Gold Tone Jeweled Cabochon Maltese Cross Brooch Pin. This is also from Thrifting Addiction. And he, she said, here's my third bolo from July. I purchased this brooch online auction, paid 26, including shipping because I knew it was special item. And I had recently sold a high end Maltese cross brooch. It took some time to sell about 10 months, but it eventually sold for 85 to a buyer overseas. My store is thrifting addiction. Thank you. Joseph originals, international series, Ireland, Irish girl, last figurine shamrock. Great, 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 great title. Here's my fourth bolo from July. I've had a great month. I purchased this figurine at a local thrift for four. I knew from watching online YouTubers that Joseph Originals with the dark eyes were older and more desirable. Ooh, good tip. I checked sold comps prior to purchasing her. She sold for full asking price in about a month. And this is Thrifting Addiction, sold for $49.99. So the dark eyes, that I have never heard that, but that is a great tip, you guys. Dark eyes. Oh my goodness. New Good Feet Store Arch Support. Arch Support. Found this at the Goodwill and a three pack of insoles for $3.59. So that makes them $1.20. Sold for $239.99 plus shipping. eBay store name R. Patterson 83. Are you kidding me? $239.99? What? That's amazing. And I absolutely love this one. Doug Nickelodeon Pizza Hut 1991 plastic cup. It is a hard to find rare vintage 90s collectible. Talk about nostalgia all the way. Somebody bought this because they needed this cup. Who remembers the Nickelodeon show Doug from the 90s? Not me. Anyway, I got this cup and a few other old Pizza Hut cups at the Benz. Only paid cents for this cup. It was a rarer one. It sold within two weeks of listing it. Took an offer of 65, hoping to get around the same price for two of the other ones I have listed. Fun find, fun sale. Thanks, Courtney. Oh, that is awesome. Congratulations. All right, you guys. Great bolos. Thank you guys all so much for sharing. Um, I talked briefly about List Perfectly at the beginning. Definitely check out a couple List Perfectly videos down below. Get 30% off your first month if you feel like it's a good fit for you with coupon referral code BOLO Buddies and the link below. Um, you can also use that to upgrade to a plan that you have never been on. And starting over BOLO Buddies, check that out. And listing assistant BOLO Buddies, YouTube title, and they're also linked down below. Uh, check those videos out. Those are some things that I'm doing now and they're upgrades to list perfectly. And I'm on the pro plan now. Yeah. I went from business to pro. It only took me five years. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching my little owls. Uh, necklace will be coming to one of my whatnot shows. The clasp is broken, but I just had to wear it. It looks so good with this hat. And the clasp is broken. Did I just say that? It took me like 10 minutes to get the thing on. 10 minutes. But I love it. So I'm going to bring it to whatnot and somebody can fix it and you can wear it. All right. So I'll see you there. Um, I dump jewelry. Everything starts at $5 or less. We do auction style. We have fun in the chat. Come hang out. Links below. That's my referral link. You'll get $15 to shop. Seems so vintage. Has these hats. She makes them. Seems so vintage. Seems so vintage. I'll link her down below. Um, she's got, I don't know, quite a few really cool ones listed right now on her whatnot. Buy it now. So you can get that $15 and buy a hat. You don't have to spend it with me. All right. Thanks for watching.